what a game. Canada and the U.S. have given us two unforgettable games in their last two meetings at the World Juniors. Travis Hamannick won't help Canada towards a sixth straight title. He's on the bench in his gear with a separated shoulder. These two nations ready to write another chapter with a gold medal on the line. Now, Canada has opened the scoring in all five of their gold medal wins in the first period. Up he goes for Jordan Kittle. Center and Luke Adam gets Saskatoon going as he slips the backhander through Mike Lee's five hole. We are just three minutes in already. It's one nothing for the Canadians. Six minutes to go in the period. Taylor Hall stripped of the puck. Here comes Chris Crater down the wing, and it is a perfect shot. He beats Jake Allen glove side. The Americans answer back and tie the game up at one. Then, just 36 seconds later, and Borks away. He's got Schrader and Zucker with him. And now in front, Schrader shoots, he's down. Jordan Schrader gives the U.S. the lead. It is back-to-back -back goals, high glove side, and just like New Year's Eve, the Americans answer and take a 2-1 lead. But in that last game, the Canadians responded. 90 seconds later, Greg Nemes will get in the slot. He'll just slide it home. He beats Lee. His first point of the World Juniors couldn't come at a bigger time. We are all tied at two. Now under two to go, John Carlson. Drops one for Kyle Palmieri, and he rips one off Allen's mask. The Americans with a game plan of going high on Allen. Then late in the period, Alex Petrangelo drills Jeremy Morin along the boards. Now, he'd get two minutes for checking from behind. More importantly, though, he gets a 10-minute misconduct. Now, Canada's blue line already depleted without Hamannick. We go to the second period. U.S. starting that period on the power play. They worked the man advantage to perfection. Carlson will just crank it from the point. Beats his screen, Allen. The U.S. retakes the lead in front of Hamadek and a stunned Canadian bench. It is 3 to 2. Two minutes later, Canucks catch a break. Taylor Hall puts it on net. It's stopped by Lee, but bounces over his head and in. It is a seesaw battle in Saskatoon. Lee allows three goals on seven shots. His night is done. The Americans pull him in favor of Jack Campbell later in the period. Ryan Ellis lines up Ryan Fork and wallpapers him along the boards. The first two periods filled with all kinds of excitement. On to the final 20 the gold medal game. Just over a minute into the third. Brandon Cozen streaking in, pumps it off the crossbar. That close to a 4-3 lead. 30 seconds later, Canadians on a power play. Nazem Kadri stopped in tight. Jordan Eberle can't be a sprawling Campbell. The 17-year-old was great. He was standing on his head. Minutes later, the Canadians get caught pinching. U.S. They break out two on one. Great speed. Derek Stepan, Jerry D'Amigo. The Americans take a 4 3 lead. Then, just two minutes later, Canada's gold medal hopes dealt a big time blow. Allen misplays it. Stepan takes advantage, and the U.S. leads by two. Allen's day is done. In comes Martin Jones. If there's one bright spot, Canada did come back against the Americans on New Year's Eve. They'll need a miracle if they want to win their sixth gold medal. Now, six minutes left to go in this hockey game. Campbell's going to play the puck right to Hall. He centers for Kadri, blocked by John Ramage. Four and a half to go. Braden Shen, key stop. Gabriel Bork pumps him to a pad in front. Then Kyle Palmieri forces a turnover. He's stopped by Jones. Palmieri bowls him over. The Canadians are going to the power play. That's blocked by Schrader. Everly does it again. The Canadians are back in it. We got a game down by a goal, then under two minutes to play. Kadri spins and shoots, ripples off the leg and line. Back to Hall. Taylor Hall to Kadri. Back in front. Ellis handles the ball. Taylor shoots. He's down again. What an absolutely ridiculous turn of events. Everly single handedly brings Canada back in this hockey game. Credit Union Center is going insane. Everly keeps the dream alive. And we are going to a sudden death overtime. 20 minutes, four on four hockey to decide the goal. And he goes for Schrader. Jordan Schrader on Colton Tudor. In comes Schrader. Lucy Frost by Jones. And now Kadri back the other way. It's a breathless pace here in overtime. Kadri with Bork. Pepper Angelo shoots. Kill the center of the book. Scoops down the front. Three on one. In comes Carlson. With Stephen and Ramage. Carlson in the shoot. Scores in overtime, and the United States has won the World 
Junior Hockey Championship. What an absolutely great hockey game. Canada has dealt a heartbreaking loss. The Americans win it 6-5 to five in overtime, ending Canada's dream of an unprecedented six straight gold medals. As for the Americans, they grabbed the gold in Saskatoon tonight, as I mentioned. Really was a great, great game. Canada lost five goals in a gold medal game for the first time since 2002 when they lost to Russia 5-4. to four. The U.S. win the gold medal for the first time since 2004 when they knocked off Canada. Only the second time in their history that they have won the gold. The Canadians showed so much character and determination. It really was admirable the way they came back. But in the end, the U.S. was simply a better team tonight. We've uh, we battled back against them uh, on New Year's, and um, you know they're a good they're a good team. They have a lot of speed, and, and we try to contain it. And um, you know we, we battled back the whole game, and it just it just seemed like they kept coming. And um, you know they, they played well, especially in overtime, got the, the winner there. And um, you know, this is definitely hard to swallow. They're a feisty team. They're a great team, and it was unbelievable playing against them New Year's Eve, and now here it was just uh, you know play our game. We know they're they're going to get chances. and They're going to score goals. That's how good they are. We just needed to play our game, and, and tonight it worked out. It was a whirlwind for me. I just shot it, got it on net, and went through. I got lucky, and I'm just so happy right now. It's the biggest goal I've ever scored in my life.